Hosting on-farm research trials for more than two decades has enabled Theodore grain grower Peter Durkin to respond to the growing issues of nutrient depletion and herbicide resistance that are affecting central Queensland farms. Mr Durkin runs Silverton, a 5,600 hectare cattle and cropping operation with his brothers, featuring 2,200 hectares of dryland wheat, durum, sorghum, corn, mung beans and chickpeas, with an annual rainfall of 675 millimetres. The latest research being conducted by the Central Queensland Grower Solutions Group is examining a suite of key nutrients, including phosphorus. No, it's not a problem hosting trials because you, you learn more out of them than what you've got to put in, really. They put the deep placement again of nutrients and they've got a whole suite of nutrients that they've put in to, to see if anything's lacking. Yeah. Work supported by the Grains Research and Development Corporation has shown that cropping during the last 30 to 50 years has resulted in significant depletion of nitrogen and phosphorus in many soils, with deficiencies in potassium and sulphur expected to increase in future. The GRDC is encouraging growers to soil test at depth to assess nutrient levels and then respond with appropriate fertiliser blends, as well as incorporating legumes into their rotations. did a dolichus trial here, we were alternating between dolichus and uh, sorghum the following year. And that was quite, quite a good trial. We found out that uh, after Dolichus we didn't need to put uh, a nitrogen fertiliser. We, we produced enough fertiliser with the Dolichus to, to grow a following sorghum crop. Investing in the latest technologies has also enabled Mr Durkin to adopt best practice when it comes to weed management through the integration of weed seeker technology into his farming system. Using the weed seeker can reduce herbicide application to just 20% of the volume used in a blanket spray. Feathertop rose grass has been our, uh, our problem weed and uh, we've, uh, it's taken people in this area, it's taken them away from zero till completely to having to work their ground a bit now. Partly led us to uh, getting into a weed seeker technology. I particularly hate spraying bare patches of ground when you're in fallow and uh, when you've got a weed seeker well at least it's switching off when, you, when there's no weeds so I hate that wasting chemical. Mr Durkin's key strategy in overcoming feathertop roads grass is persistence and getting on top of the seed bank early. We realise now uh, you know you've got to get on top of the seed bank and that's the way to, to get on top of it but it's easier said than done. But uh, with residual chemicals and uh, just concentrating very hard on trying to stop that seed set, uh, I think we're slowly winning the battle, but we're not there yet.